What up, everybody? My name is Dana Harris with Young Gurus Math Tutoring, and I'm back again to drop some more math jewels. In this video, I'm going to explain how we use scientific notation to convert a number from scientific notation form to standard form. Okay, so we're going from scientific notation. It's going to be written in scientific notation form, and we're going to convert it to standard form. All right, let's get right into these examples. Example one. Let's say if I have a number written in standard form, let's say I have 8.0 times 10 to the negative fourth power, okay? And a lot of times they won't even write the decimal. Like you'll see 8 times 10 to the negative fourth power. I should have wrote it like that first, but it's all good, okay? So if I see this number like this, I need to make it a decimal. Well, a decimal would look like 8.0, okay? Now, I determine how I'm going to move my decimal based upon whether I have a positive exponent or a negative exponent, okay? So since this exponent is negative, that tells me that this is a very small number with a lot of digits, okay? So I'm going to move this decimal actually to the left, OK, so I'm going to move it to the left four places. Remember, negative numbers are on the left side of the zero. So I'm going to move it to the left four places. So if I take this one, two, three and four, my decimal is going to end up there. I'm going to fill these little holes with zeros. OK, so now my standard form of this, I'm going to put the decimal here, and I'm going to say 0, 0, 0, and 8. So 8 ten thousandths. If I have 8 times 10 to the negative 4, that's 8 ten thousandths, okay? You know I'm going to do an another example. So let's do another example. All right, remember, if I have a number we're, we're talking about converting from scientific notation to standard form. So let's say I have 6.88 times 10 to the negative 2 power. Okay, we start out with 6.88, so I'm going to rewrite that again. And because I have a negative exponent, remember, negatives are on the left side of zero, okay? So I'm going to move this decimal place to the left two times, okay? The decimal is going to be moved to the left two times. So from here, one, two. And whatever is that little gap right there, I have to fill it with the zero, okay? So now I'm going to end up with... All right, so that's my standard form. So 688 ten thousandths is how we say that. All right, so that was from scientific notation to standard form when we're talking about a very, very small number, which in scientific notation form, they're going to be represented with negative exponents. OK, now the next couple of examples, I'm going to show you how to do the same thing. But we're going to be talking about how we convert from scientific notation to standard form if we have positive exponents. And remember, positive exponents represents a very large number. OK, we want to always think about value in regards to these numbers. I think that's one of the things that a lot of students need to understand the value of a number. A lot of kids can identify digits, but they need to understand the value. So let's say I have. 7 and 895 thousandths times 10 to the fourth power. All right, same thing. The decimal is already there in this case, but we need to move the decimal four times to the right because it's a positive exponent. Remember, this 10 to the fourth power is much greater than 10. OK, so we're going to take that same number. I'm going to rewrite it. Seven and eight hundred ninety five thousandths. And I need to move my decimal to the right because this is a positive exponent. 
four times. So one, two, three, four. All right. I have to fill that gap right there with a zero. All right. So that's going to give me what? 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 Almost dropped the marker. Seven, eight, nine, five, zero. Okay. And I'm going to put my decimal right there. And then this is just a comma. So seven and eight hundred ninety five thousandths times 10 to the fourth power gives me it actually represents oh i put that in the wrong place make that mistake 78,950 okay from scientific notation to standard form where we're talking about a very very large number let's do one more example all right so if i have the number two and three tenths times 10 to the uh let's say uh third power okay i'm using very small exponents right now but no matter how large this exponent is, if it was to the tenth power i would move it 10 times to the right okay so i'm going to take this same number and i'm going to take two and three tenths and i'm going to move this decimal y'all got to bear with me because the lawn care man is outside so if you hear a bunch of buzzing that's just the lawn care man. I'm still recording. He's not going to not let me be great. Anyway, sorry for that interruption. I need to move this decimal three places to the right. So one, two, three. And I need to fill those holes with zeros. Okay. So what I end up with is two, three, zero, zero. Of course, I need to put a comma there. So this is 2300 now i'm going to do one more example because i think you need to see what happens like what if we have a very large number let's say if i have 10 to the eighth power or something like that it's the same concept it's the same concept so if i have um let's i'm gonna keep it let's say if i have nine times 10 to the 12th power okay this is we simply make nine a decimal so 9.0 and i want to move the decimal 12 places to the right okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve i like this example so my decimal is going to end up right there the reason I like this example is because it helps you really see, like, who wants to write out all these digits? If I was doing a lab report, I wouldn't want to write all of those zeros. So I got to fill each little gap with a zero. So now I end up with, and let's see what this number looks like. Nine. Zero, zero, zero 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 so three six twelve zeros and let me make sure i count it twelve three all right so let's put in our commas boom 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 all right so hundred hundred thousand hundred million hundred billion nine trillion nine trillion who wants to write it now? You probably want nine trillion dollars, but who wants to write the number nine trillion over and over again with all those 12 zeros? This is why we use scientific notation, because we want to write a number that has a lot of digits in a more compact way. All right. Thank you so much. If you need to show uh, if you need to see how to go from standard form to scientific notation, Please watch the video on converting from standard form to scientific notation. Once again, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell. Hit that bell. Hit the subscribe button. And thank you so much. Young Guru's Math Tutor, and I got the solution to your math problems. Deuces.